right. Montrose is all right, Mon Montrose back on the stage, but this time uh, with a different character. But Paper Chat's hot right now. Paper Chat is hot. He's feeling the momentum, but you got to think, like, maybe, like, Sig's been, Sig's just been warming up, like, and maybe Paper Chat was, like, coming off of a win like that, you got to be, like, you, 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 you might be, like, feeling yourself, but, like, I don't know, it, like, when you, when, when you clutch out a big win like that, sometimes you get like a little bit nervous, you get a little bit shaky just because you're just like, oh my god, I, did, I just did that. Uh, and then you, you have trouble adapting to that new play style the new character brings. Yeah. You're sort of just stuck in that last game. But, but here we go. Yeah, Montrose losing so much of his shield so quickly because he got hit by shot put and hydrant. And Paper Chow looks like he's playing, still playing kind of nice right now. Oh my. Okay. Oh, nice parry. I like that. Up throw. Yeah, up throw just wants to get him in a juggle situation, but you're not going to really be able to juggle Pac-Man that much. You don't have really strong aerials to contest that hydrant, and you're not really fat. You're just not, like, I don't know. Like, it doesn't really seem like the best juggling characters, especially when you don't have a platform there to assist you. But manages to get the first stock regardless. And I think he's trying to sweep it away. Yeah. Get that one down tilt. Oh, my one. God, just... Grabs the nair right out of there. Pac-Man's grab got a buff so hard. Yeah, it's just a it's just a move now. Oh my it's god. It's good. I'm, I don't have to say it's good. However, we're gonna see a lot of that in this game. It beats spot dodge, which is so scary because it's one of the best defensive options in this game. Yes. Oh. Okay. Yeah, it goes for the nair. Understandable. But not gonna get a crazy amount of reward off of it because. Uh, Puts him off stage, no stage to work with. So, ooh, because that nair is really good for uh, for combos. Like when you have stage, just get like because it puts it sets up for a jab lock situation really well. I think it can combo into like you can combo into a few things. I think you can like come into like a tech chase with like a, with like a down tilt or something. Okay. Nice stuff. Got him on the ledge. Favorite Chow's ledge having game has been fantastic this tournament. And I feel like, ooh. Air just made it happen. Yeah. I feel like Montrose has been, like, he's been just pressing a lot of buttons, which is kind of uncharacteristic of Pac-Man. Yeah, for sure. He's been, he's been using a lot of his normals without really being able to set up too much. And that just might be, like, that might not be, like, a, like a, like a Montrose or Pac-Man thing. That just might be a, t a testament to how much pressure that Paper has been applying in this game. It looks hard to slow down here. Yeah, he's even when he's setting up, Paper Chow's putting on the pressure. He's not letting him just set up safely. He's forced to shield. He knows as soon as that hydrant's gone, he's going to make another one. So he's gonna get oh, rid of it. the snipes with the shot put. He's oh, so good at that. One. He just throws it. Just Big. throws it. Big arm. Paper Chow. Paper Chow on a tear. For sure. Back to, clean. back to Town City. Pokemon, what? Starting on Squirtle. In, interesting, <laughs> to say the least. I. This is the winner set, though. Three, yeah, I don't think I've seen six Pokemon trainer though. Go. I've seen a lot of six characters, but I don't think this is one of them. No, I don't think so either. This is. Just I don't know, maybe he's just using his winner set like he wants to. Yeah, yeah maybe he's just using it to just, you know, at the end of the day, it's a free tournament. Just like, just use it to play, play some, try, try some new characters. I mean, Sig just like, once again, you've seen him. And if you've seen him in the set, you see how many characters he already plays. What's, what's adding another one? <laughs> and he does have a big lead on paper of this game. Yeah, yeah, Squirtle's, Squirtle's so light. And kind of an un like, this is kind of a weird Squirtle, to be honest. He's going for a lot of like, like hard reads with like the S smash. But, like he, he, he knows that Brawler can't really do much about it in a shield with S smash. Yeah, and he's going for a lot of nair too. It's a, a, a move that I don't see Squirtles go for that often. A lot of Squirtles will see like like going for their fair. They're like dash dancing around you and going for like a grab. But he's kind of using that F smash like it's a Meta Knight F smash. Yeah, and really interesting to see. And it's not short either. No, I feel like uh, well, it has a deceptively it has. 
deceptively short hitbox. Okay. It's like it's actually like shorter than it looks. Remember, on the Ivysaur, yeah. has that classic. This is where the this is where the magic happens. <laughs> Goes for the up throw. Made a little bit of character up earlier there. Because once again, yeah, that down throw, that's the that's the killing. Is there a name for the uh, Ibisaur down throw up beat? I don't know. Okay. I don't think so. Well, let's not give it a name now. I'm sure the... Uh, Toss in his salad or something. I don't know. <laughs> I like that. That's good. So, Sig. Oh, I like that. Just pokes him through the stage with that uh, with the vine whip. Switch it to Charizard, but that big body is susceptible to get hit. So, and back on the Squirtle that we we love to see. A little bit drop conversion there. Not too much loss though. And that F smash coming out again. Definitely getting a lot of damage here. However, Squirtle very very squishy. Yeah, but I mean, you're not, you're, oh. and you're dead. And you're dead. Oh. Welcome to the dead zone. There's no way. <laughs> I would thought he was dead for sure. Are you telling me you didn't believe in Paper Shell? I can't believe it. After everything we've seen. I knew you was going to go for it. I knew was going to Oh, come on. Well. Oh. Why did we? Oh. I think if you went for an upbeat instead of the bear. I think it would have gotten too high. Oh. My He's dead. That's it's just death. over. Paper Shell is up 2-0. Yeah. It's the six winner set. like... Like, Paper Chow is riding a train of momentum right now, and with how he's playing, I wouldn't want to give him a free set. But of course, Six Pac-Man, definitely one of his main characters. I wouldn't call it him giving it for free. For sure. But you don't want to play around too much, and it looks like he's staying with the Pokemon trainer. I mean, Squirtle showed a lot of signs of life early, but like... He just got hit. He just got hit way too much. Yeah, that's, that's, a, good, that's a good way of putting it. His neutral just wasn't nearly as, as airtight as it was on, shoot, even Ness earlier. Ooh. Like, Sig has beaten this person. Yes. But right now, it's looking like Paper Chow is just kind of outclassing everyone around him. <laughs> Sig was kind of just classing out, outclassing everyone in this venue right now, from the looks of it, except for Sig, who he, he lost to earlier, of course. But, I, he's looking like a different, he, I'll say this, he's looking like a different player than the winner set. Yeah. I feel like the, the, the heat tempered him. Like, the heat from the Minix set tempered him so much. Yes. And in, in, instead of uh, letting his momentum fizzle out, he's he's riding it. Like he's just riding it. And now he's just doing so nice. But Sig still not out of it yet. I mean, pretty even game. One big F smash will do it from this position. But... Interesting to see that he's staying Squirtle. I think he just really likes the mobility that Squirtle provides him. Is what I can is what I'm getting from this. But then again, I would feel like Ivysaur would just be so nice because like that he has the extra range, he has the killing power. But like at the same time, I can understand why he's not doing it because if you put yourself in the corner as like a slow character like Ivysaur, Paper Chow, who's been so good at keeping you trapped there, uh, like he's gonna capitalize on it so much. Like Squirtle is like obnoxious to ledge trap. But that flip kick, just kind of sneaking it away, yeah. stealing oh it from him. And just going back, right back to Squirtle. I understand. I understand. Oh, oh no! Squirtle's not coming back from that. Squirtle is not coming back from that. And neither are the other two. Paper Chow solidifying the lead once more and tries to just go for it again. Tries to even it up, but Sig actually almost getting hit by it. Sig also almost getting educated there. Yeah. It's so scary when you're that far off as Squirtle. Most certainly. And he's been getting a lot of mileage off of this, like, deep collar F tilt. He's been using it to just whiff punish and just, like, punish on shield people that are just a little bit overextending too much. And it puts himself, he gives him stage control, puts himself in an advantageous position, and he's just been able to extend his advantage state so well. Oh my god, that was such a good backer, but even better tech from Paper Chow. Yeah, I, I really like the idea of that backer. I, I, wouldn't have th I wouldn't have thought he'd be ready for it. I don't think I would have. Do you think, do you think we might ever see a character, me brawler, fighter, and gunner, sorry, me, me brawler, sword fighter, and oh gunner, Pokemon trainer style? That'd be crazy. That'd be, that would be interesting. 
Oh, oh, the snipe, the snipe. Let's get his second one though. Now we just been able to find the kill, but speaking of finding the kill, oh my god. Maybe you're resetting it. Resetting with a 3 0. -oh. And I don't know if we're going to see the Pokemon Trainer again. I would imagine we'll see a switch to either a Falco or a Ness here. Falco, yeah, I, I think Falco might be a little bit too slow. Maybe, but it's also just like his best character. Oh my. Okay, yeah, the Ness. Yeah, I understand the Ness. The Ness was just so oppressive. And in, in, in the winner said, yeah. And that's definitely something he hasn't been able to do. He hasn't been able to keep him in disadvantage like he could with Ness. Yeah, you're, yeah, you're right. Like, that's definitely something we noted in the winner set is that just like, once he was able to get him in disadvantage uh, with the Ness, he's able to just keep him there just because, like, Ness can just follow him so well. Great hip or bat. Great air mobility and, and the PK Thunder is just the wonders. And we can see, we're seeing the difference right now. However, Paper Truck kind of going in, trying to catch these landings. However, Ness is landing so hard to catch. You, you run over to the character's landing and you get comboed. Yeah. <laughs> it's so annoying. Oh my god, I like the idea from Paper Joe there, trying to cover his landing, and actually gets the hit with the shot put, but just like, he, he, he gets hit with the PK Thunder at the same time as he gets hit with the shot put, so isn't able to quite cover it as much as he wanted to, and still just gets put in that ledge trap situation. I don't know. Ooh. Oh my god. Just, and six, starting off pretty well. Yeah, so it's starting up really nicely. Oh, I really like the idea that I come with the magnet. Oh my, oh! He's not dead yet. It's all base knockback on that move. So little growth. However, we're seeing an enormous amount of growth in Paper Chow. Yeah, actually, very much. And I'm very surprised that that shot would miss. Just the tiniest of tiniest misfacings. But he scares him with it, forces him off stage. Puts himself in an even game. Oh, good contesting the magnet with that nair from Paper Chow, though. And that's one suplex. Oh, the good, damage. Good tech chase. And another one. Oh, oh the nair. Yeah, that nair is so good. Yeah, it's crazy. Like, like you can just like. It's so nice. It's like it's, it's active and, and it's and it's lingering hitbox just just so much and just puts the shot put in the perfect position. That's quite a lot of damage. All right, I don't know how much slaps did you quit. Yeah. Reminds me a lot of Idols now. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. A lot yeah, about it. I can see it. Yeah. How the strong hit can be used for killing the soft hit is just so good for combos. He's just a little bit slower. It really does. It, it really is like Idols now. Somewhere. But then again, that's just it's also just a sex of snare, but I, I I see why you're specifically comparing it to that. Yeah, yeah. I understand that. Same kind of character. Yeah. Ooh. Pretty even Steven here. Yeah. Never say even Steven on commentary. Yeah. Even Andre. Thank you. What is his name? Uh Neil. Huh? I think it's Neil. Neil? Yeah, I think so. Okay. okay. However, Andre, take it away. His name is Sid. Uh, no, 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 Paper Chow's name is Andre. No, I know. Okay. I know it. I know it. My man, Andre. Andre's hired. He is. Beat Minix. Hey, did you see that guy that beat Minix? He's right here. You're looking at him right now. However, he's getting just kind of pushed out here. Ooh. Once again, this is the impression of the advantage that was on the winner's side, but Paper Chow adapting. Better, better. And once again, get that Tetris in the pot from the Super like, same situation. But doesn't get as much off to Sig doing a better job in disadvantage than he did earlier. Every time you get in a tech chase against Brawler, it's a life and death situation. Yeah. It's so terrifying. Oh. Okay, I keep hearing the star get the, the chaos from setups in the back. I keep thinking it's this. Oh. oh! You're so, you're playing with fire. You are both, that was so risky. Both players. Oh, he's playing, and he's got him on stage. What's he gonna do? Oh my god, he does not want to get grabbed here, but now he's put in the corner. Great job getting over the yo yo. How's he? He's, ooh! Knocked by the snipe. Taking the ledge. Scared. Oh my god, what? Perry! Back here! Oh, that You're was crazy. sick. That was sick. Okay, Marco. Montrose. He's kind of hyped.
Kind of good at this game. Kind of schnasty. Kind of schnice. Nice. What was that, was that word you came up with a file? What? Uh, like two weeks ago. Disconstrombulated. Like, disconstrombulated? That was, that was, that was, it was, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a no slurp. Slurp. slurp hitbox. Oh, the slurp, the slurp hitbox. The slurp hitbox. Yeah, yeah. However, no slurp hitbox is here. Everything's sort of a, sort of multi-hit or draw move. Yeah? Yeah, no, the wolf up back, up, the wolf up smash is the slurp. The slurp. The slurp, yeah. For sure. However, you know, you can kind of see the slurp in some other moves. I feel like the up B, like the brawler up B, could definitely, could definitely, no, the, I feel like the, the up B could definitely act be like a slurp kind of move. I, I can see, I can see that. I don't know how good its hitbox is, but I feel like it has potential. Suplex also has potential to be a slurp ass move. Oh my god, the up tilt. That was a slurpy up tilt. That was a slurpy ass up tilt. I agree. Throwing those rocks. Great nair to jabs. Yeah, just, just just knowing that uh, Sig wants to punish off punish on the shield and just not gonna <laughs> evasion. Yeah. But then again, he doesn't get like oh inches. Really nice safe, really nice safe pressure from Sig there. Like he doesn't hit paper chat with it. Oh, what is that up smash? Calls out the jump beautifully. That's what that up smash was. But back to him, not quite gonna do it. That's not that strong. He's pretty <gasps> that was an up air. That would have been such a beautiful catch if that was an up air. <laughs> Definitely. I mean, it was a beautiful catch regardless, it just didn't kill. Okay. Last time I put on quite a bit of quite a bit of But damage is not what Sig needs right now. He needs some form of stop and that back throw will do it. Absolutely. Sig looking at only a little bit of percent here to make up. He needs to get that one hit though to get uh, Pipertrack into disadvantage. Oh my god, and that will definitely do it. For sure. sure. Disadvantage he is. But Pipertrack sneaks his way out of it. But they traded a bunch and now they're pretty even. Yeah, very, very close to even. Now, now Sig in the advantage state. I don't, he's not gonna let Pipertrack down without a little bit of damage tacked on. He's doing a great job at the good good parry. Yeah, good parry. No punish out of the parry. <gasps> what? I think it clanked. Yeah, that's what I think too. Oh, slurp movement. I'm trying to think of which word to say. Sneaky or slurp? But I felt like slurp was more appropriate. Slurp, yeah, slurp movement. Slurp movement. You ever feel like in a game, you just kind of get slurped by their movement? You run in. Oh and my god, back. that was getting slurped by the movement. Oh, absolutely. I was slurp, slurp has some movement. Oh my gosh, nice there though. Even Steven. Even Andre. Even Andre. Even Andre. Oh, but these parries have just been so on point today. It's a nice way. Okay. That move is not a slurp best move, right? No. Just, no. Absolutely not. That move, that move is negative slurp. That move is, that move is schlock. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Two kind of moves in this game. Slurp There's slurps or slops. <laughs> slurp moves and schlop moves. Ooh, you know, nest dash tech? That's definitely a slurp. That's a slurp for sure. Yeah, it's because it's so much bigger than it looks. Oh my god, he's got him in the ledge. This is so scary. Every time that Pipchuck gets people in this position, it's so scary. Oh my, slurps him into death! I can say, oh, no matter how scary it is, it's nowhere near as scary as when Paper Chow would down throw me with the with the piston punch and, and, and smash. Oh, absolutely. It was a 50 50 and just death. Yeah. There's nothing, there's still nothing scary on this me brawler. Even though he's a better character. <laughs> I think so. I think he's a better character. Well, Pierce just making him look that way. Yeah, Pierce has it. Oh, the yo-yo! He's done a great job. Yeah, that was a great catch. On the what the heck? And that was something we saw a lot in the winter show. We saw so much use of that yo-yo to catch the things, uh, to catch Paper Chow's recoveries. But Paper Chow's been doing such a good job of evading, uh, evading him by recovering high and. Uh, but just got slop and evading. He's also been doing a good job of evading the angry airs when he's been able, when he's been trying to recover high. But he hasn't been getting angry that much. Well, he has, but like. Not for a big pun. Basically, the name of the game has been anti air. <laughs> now, Paper Chow, I think for the first time in a while, is sort of staring up the hill here. Yeah. He's, uh, he's got a wild uh, lot of games to make up. We have quite a few games to make up, but. Oh, he's going to Wolf? Wolf? Yeah, his Wolf is. So, his Wolf is good. Like, he's a good player and he has solid fundamentals. 
but but the character he beat Minix with was the character he beat Minix with was pay per view. It was uh, was, 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 was Andre uh, himself. It was me. It actually was. It was, uh, it was for me. Uh, that's me what? What? Yeah, three over three. three yeah. Okay. So, but um, honestly, not only that, but the fact that like uh, Dax and Len are six brothers, and both of them play this character. That is definitely one tough thing. However, everybody has their own sort of style on each character. It can be almost jarring to see how somebody else plays it. Like, you, you want you expect a lot of gun, but you see a lot of dash attack. Yeah. You expect a lot of grab, and you see a lot of, like, air. Yeah, 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 yeah. for it. It's just so different. Yeah. Also, However, just the general character matching now is still always nice. Of course, of course. However, it's not looking too bad. Uh, yeah, just Attack. Yeah, it's looking pretty nice. <laughs> That's so fake in this game. Get up attack? No, 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 no. The uh, smash is the ledge. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's smash forward. You can kind of catch the get up attack in this game. Nah, it's okay. Yeah. Definitely. I mean, there are some that are, like, definitely not the right. Like, like, there's some that you can just, like, space. That is just, like, no <laughs> Ooh. Speaking of space and those. Sm speaking of space and smash attack. Sig, uh, or Mantra, rather. Space and the uh, smash attack. Off the level, able to catch his recovery. Great so, reflector there! Yeah, really nice. It, that, maybe that's what he's looking for. He just wants to not get harassed when he's above him by those, uh, by those, those, those uh, PK Fenders. And Wolf's air mobility is so good that, like, he's not going to get caught in disadvantage too much, especially how fast he falls. He's going to get to the ground a lot faster. But oh, that yeah. will do it, yeah. Concedes the stock. Yeah, no, he, I mean, he, he snatched his jump with that, with, like, I think it was laser, like, no, it was dash attack. He got him off of it. Mm -hmm. And he just, like, he was too far at that point. And right now, it's, once again, like you said, it's, like, it's like maybe a different place to make paper ties, unique play styles. I don't think well against Sig, but as I say that, Sig wrecks on a bit more damage, putting him from around, like, 60 to 80. So now it's a little bit more of a deficit to come back from, but Wolf can definitely do it considering how strong his moves are. Ooh. Ooh. And catches a jump. Yeah, that Wolf is out of there. Definitely out of there. Ooh, nice Sig conversion. starting up. Yeah. He's heating up. Yeah, he's definitely heating up, but here we go. Heating up by the ledge. Ooh. A little bit of mistiming there from that down smash. I wonder if it's been hit. Is that like charged down smash by the ledge? Uh, like 50? How about it's been hit? Yeah, all of those smash attacks just. Once you're past like 60%, they become just monstrous. Yeah. Before that, it's like they barely. Well, up smash, up smash. You, you have a little more than you really. Yeah, yeah, but like, you get caught with a down smash on the level, bye. Yeah. <laughs> right now, Paper Joe's just gotta find an answer here. Sig is just putting on a putting on a show right now. Definitely showing that he knows how to play around Wolf's tools quite well. Sig. Being very careful here, he knows he doesn't need to approach. He's just taking that stage. Oh, easy moment. Those here to send off. They're just Whoa. getting a lot of the gun in. That was such a smart catch on the landing with an S smash, but it's just the tiniest of tiniest misspacing. Sig is able to land right in front of him. Just that will be the game. A bear will make it happen. And that will be a 3-0 uh, from Sig. Congratulations on Sig for winning the game. Mantra. What? Oh yeah, of course. And oh, BMS 69. Signing off. This nice. is Snack. Nice. This is Doug. We're signing off from BMS 69. 69.